Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and very well done to the 2,000 plus Patreons who entered this month's Patreon competition. We are absolutely flabbergasted that so many of you managed to solve those puzzles. I mean, acknowledging they weren't incredibly hard, it's still a significant time contribution from a lot of people. In fact, if you start adding up the amount of time spent on those puzzles, it gets to by, you know, 2,000 people who did enter, probably others who didn't enter or others who didn't finish them. And my goodness, that's a lot of hours of time spent over over three puzzles and a meta that, that we liked. Um, there will be a solution video to come out um, probably by the end of the month. And also we will announce a winner at some point as well, drawn randomly, but uh, very well done to all of those incredible number of people who entered. Still loads of content on Patreon that's worth looking at if uh, you haven't joined already. And if you have, check it all out. Now, also, do check out our Discord server and we've got all the links for our apps underneath the video and uh, lots of stuff going on generally on the channel as always. Um, but the first link under the video is to this, which is from... Um, Seri Tushchenko from the Ukraine. We are delighted that Seri is able to continue uh, communicating with us. We wish him and uh, everybody in that uh, difficult part of the world very well at the moment. I mean, it's awful stuff going on there and uh, good luck to Seri. And uh, thank you so much for sending us puzzles, although I am told this one is a lot harder than anything he's sent us before. We shall see. Um, it's called a unique arrow Sudoku. And so we have normal Sudoku rules and we have sort of pill arrows, digits along an arrow, sum to the number in the pill. So if those numbers added to 24, you'd get two and four there. So reading 24 left to right in the sort of circle, the elongated circle that I'm calling a pill attached to the arrow. Now, here's an important point. This is why it's unique arrow Sudoku. All the numbers in the pills are unique two-digit numbers. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so we are getting uh, different numbers in all, in all the pills. Now, yeah, yeah, that is interesting. Right, along thermometers, digits must increase from the bulb end. So we have three thermometers set along the arrows. Now, I do apologize for the fact that there's a bit of overlap between the thermometer positions and the arrows. This was the only way I could get them to be visible at all in the current software. So um, apologies if that looks a bit odd to you, but I think you'll understand where the arrows are meant to be and where the thermometers are meant to be. Do give it a try on the link under the video. I'm gonna start now. Let's get cracking. And, well, we've got, there's a lot of boxes. Is it five or six where there are six digit arrows and two digit numbers? And just one number outside. Actually, it's only five. I was mistakenly thinking box six was similar. Now, okay, right. Here's the first deduction. None of these arrows begin with four in the pill. They can't be more than 40. They'd have to be 41 to be a valid Sudoku number in the sense of one, you know, zero is not a Sudoku digit, so it can't go there. Now, if this was 41, that would mean that you'd have 41 on the arrow cells plus four in the first cell. And that's already 45. And if you know the secret that the box, the numbers in a Sudoku box add up to 45, you will know that 45 plus two other numbers is invalid. That cannot be a genuine box. So we can't have a four in any of these six cell arrows. So they've all got to begin the, the numbers, the tens digit, one, two, or three. Um, that's gonna be the same. Well, I think these four digit arrows are all gonna be one or two. You, can't, you could get up to 30 in four digits, but 30 is not good enough because it has a zero. So the next highest number is 29. So they're all going to begin with one or two. This one could begin with a three, actually, I think. Yeah, weirdly, it couldn't be 34 because the numbers would also include a four, but it could be 32 or 31. So 
Yeah, we'll leave it at that, but it does give us a one, two, three triple in row three. So the 30 number in this row, the 30 number in this row must be at least 34, mustn't it? Because, yeah, it must be, because one, two, and three will be gone in those cells. So this cell and this cell, one of which will be following a three in the tens digit, must be at least four. Okay, so if you used 34 in one of these, and you put 34 on this arrow in, a to in total, plus four, plus three, that's 41. You would need a four to make up the 45 total, and that would repeat fours. So it's not 34. Can it be 35? Then you would have 35, 40, 43. You'd have a two here. And that's it. Because these numbers are these central numbers are falling by two each time. When you change from 34 to 35, you're actually adding two to the total because you're adding one to those and one to those as well. So to go up to 36, which actually I know is the sum of the other seven digits in a cage like this, that, that would make this impossible. So whichever one of these is 30 something is 34 or five. Now why I'm getting a bit confused about this, no, sorry, is 35. And that means there is a five in one of those two cells. And in fact, actually, it means there is a two in one of those two. Now, why I'm getting confused about this a bit is because of the rule that I just read that said all the numbers in the pills are unique. So doesn't, oh, I suppose one of those doesn't have to be a 30 number. Oh, or it could be 31 or 32, of course. So it's only in this row where, where we're forced to have a 35, effectively. That's interesting. Now, I don't, th can these be, these five, did six digit um, arrows begin with a one? And the answer is no. The answer is no, because if you put a one in the pill, then these would have to be at least two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that does not add up to 19 or less. I am certain of that. I'm sorry, I just heard um, an alert from my email, which I should have closed. Anyway, um, so that's not a one, and that's not a one, actually. That is a two, three pair, and this is a one, and there's a digit. Now, the 31 is 35 with a two in the middle. What's the 21? If it was 29, 29 plus 9 plus 2 is 40, then it would have a 5 in the middle. So I'm going to write these in as possibilities, as well as, oh yeah. No, sorry, 29 would have a 5 in the middle. I'm getting confused. 35 would have a 2 in the middle. 29 would have a 5 in the middle. 28, 38 would have a 7 in the middle. 27... 29, 36 would have a 9 in the middle, and I have a feeling that's an end of it. Because once we get below that, we're adding 26 plus 6 plus 2 is 34, and suddenly you need a two-digit number in the middle. So, 27, 8, or 9, that's interesting, because it means in all of these areas, I'm tempted to say we can only have 35... 27, 28, or 29. And that's a real worry because there are five of them and I've only come up with four possibilities. Ah, and what I've forgotten again is the one that can occur but not in these two boxes. The one that can do that is 31 or 32, actually. So I've forgotten two possibilities. Now, I have noticed I've left one in those cells which can't be there. Uh, and that, that leads to a 2-3 pair here. Any others? Not sure. I, I don't think the fact that there's a 2 in one of those is usable at the moment. Right, now, these others then. Thir we've used 35. One of these somewhere... Oh, that can't begin with... Oh, that can't begin with a 1 now because of that, at least. So that's another 2-3 pair. 
So one of these is 31 or 32. Well, it's not 31 because that's a 2-3 pair. Sorry, it's not 32 because that's a 2-3 pair. So one of them is 31 and the other will be 27, 8 or 9. And 31 in the middle will have 31... Oh, 31 needs a 10 in the middle. Oh no, it's 34 here. Can't be 32. I'm sorry, I'm getting so confused. 34 is possible outside the top two, but outside these boxes. They couldn't be 34. No, it's not. I'm totally lost now. How is this to be done at all? We've used 35 up here in one of these two, and that has to be. But down here, I'm thinking they can be 27, 8 or 9, with a 5, 7 or 9 in the middle. But they can't be 30... Oh, it's this one. This one is only a 5 cell arrow. This one can be 30 something. Right, yeah, 34 doesn't work because you'd have to put... It doesn't work here because you'd have to put a 4 in the middle cell. 31 doesn't work because you'd have to put a 10 in the middle cell. 36 and 7, 8, 9 are too high. So 30 doesn't work in this box at all. That's a 2. So that's a 3. This is the 35 up at the top. Oh, actually, this isn't too bad now, in a way. Well, I mean, I've really made heavy weather of it, but that, that's my own fault. Um, that's a 2. Yeah, okay, I don't know how they work, but that's a 2. This has become a 1. This is now a 3, and we can forget those numbers. This is not... Okay, there is scope for other things now. It's... N yeah, it, this isn't bound by the rules of 6-cell arrows, because it's a 5-cell arrow. That's the point. Now, we know it's not... Well, let's start with... The most five digits can add up to, that are Sudoku digits, is 35. But that is not a possible answer, because if you put a 5 there, that would be 98765, which would clash the 5 in the box. And the same is true with 34. The only way to make that up in five digits is 98764, and that would clash the 4. Now, it can't be 3 or 2, so this is 31. That's just definite. Uh, you don't have to have 98761, thank goodness. You can have, I mean, there may be alternatives, 98752, 98734, 9865. Okay, the way to look at this box is 31, 34, 35. These two add up to 10. Ah, and they can't be 1, 9 or 3, 7. So they're an even pair, either 2, 8 or 4, 6. Now, this has become a 2, thanks to that 1. So they're not 2, 8 that way around. This has become a 3. Oh, now I'm getting worried all over again. We've used 35. Can this be... This can't be 34, because that puts a 4 there. This one... Oh, we've used 31. This one could be 32. If these add up to 32, plus 2, plus 3, this must be right. Yes, that's an 8, and that does work. Oh, well, that's quite clever. Right. So 8 there, that's not a 5. So this is a 7-9 pair. Actually, that only works one way around. 29 plus 2, 31 plus 9 would be impossible. So 27 there, 9 there. 27 plus 2 and 7 is 36 plus 9. Yes, that works. Now, this is a 2 or a 3. I don't think it, you know, it can't be a three, surely. I think we've exhausted the three possibilities in the puzzle by using 31, 32, and 35. 33 won't go anywhere by Sudoku rules, and 34 is impossible because you'd get a four in the middle. So that's a two as well. And my goodness, we've got quite a lot of information about twos in this puzzle already, just marking in the possible twos. This isn't, actually, this isn't too bad at all. And I think I know why the tested had trouble with it. I will check on that later. Um, now, well, it's not too bad. I mean, I've, as I said, I've 
done it quite poorly, but we have got where we've got and it's not too bad. Um, and this is going to be right. So, 20, what, what can we do? We've got to do regular Sudoku, I think. Or maybe look at these four cell arrow pills. This one is the 20 something one, right. And it's got to have a three on the arrow, which is kind of interesting. No, maybe it doesn't limit it that hard. This can't be an eight. Obviously 29 would work. Then you would get 29 plus two and nine is, oh no, it wouldn't work. That's too much. You'd have to fit five in there. 27 plus seven plus two is, would leave nine here. And that's not possible given that two and three can't be used. 26 plus six plus two, is 34 then 11 there could be 146 so that was oh no but I said 26 so you can't use a 6 so I don't think 26 works either so actually I think we're down to 25 24 or 21 we can't have 23 because we know there's a 3 down here do we why did I think there was a 3 down there I think I didn't consider a three here, so maybe 23 works as well. So I should just be a bit careful with the pencil marking. Oh no, we, yeah, no, I decided there was a three here, but I think that was rubbish. So I'm taking that out again. Now, let's just keep trying these. 25 plus five plus two would make 13 here, which would need the one. Um, and then those two could add up to 12 in a couple of ways. 24 would leave this adding up to 15, and that could even be, well, it couldn't be 4, 5, 6, because we'd have used the 4. I think there are possibilities. I don't think that's worth persevering with, frankly. I've spent long enough on it already. Ah, this cell is at least a 4 in the row, and let's finally use a thermo for the first time. If that's at least a 4, 4, 6, 7 there six, seven or eight there, seven, eight or nine there. Bit of thermo pencil marking makes me feel like I'm getting back on track. Um, a three in one of those cells by Sudoku. Um, ah, 27 we've used, so this can't be 27. So it's either 28 with a 7 here, or 29 with a 5 in the middle. Oh, and this thing doesn't have a 2 in it, does it? So, this must be at least 3, 4, 5, 6. That already adds up to 18. So this is 8 or 9. It's either 3, 4, 5, 6, or 3, 4, 5, 7. That one can't be 3 or 5. We've got an 8, 9 pair in the row. So this is 4, 6 or 7 as well. Now what about this one? Yeah, this is, this is from the high family. 27, 8 or 9. 26, 32, 34 would leave 11 there. Yes, this is 27, 8 or 9. We've used 27. So this is the counterpart of that one. It's either 28 or 9, again with a 5 or a 7 in the middle, forming a pair. Um, and now this can't be 9 or from the 5, 7 pair, or 1 or 2. So I'm going to say 3, 4, 6 or 8 for now. Now if it was 13... We'd need a 1 on this arrow in 4 cells. Yeah, that's definitely true. If it was 14, well, you'd need a 1 or a 4. 2, 3, 5, 6 adds up to more than 14. So it's either 16 or 18. If it's 16, this is going to be 2, 3, 4, 7, because it can't use the 6 again. If it's 18, this is going to be 2... Might be a bit harder to be sure. Oh, hang on. It's got a 3 on the arrow, hasn't it? Because there's no 3 there. That's interesting. So if it's 18, it's 2, 3, and another 11. 
five, six, or four, seven. No, it's also got a seven on the arrow. I should have spotted this. Okay, two, three, seven are on the arrow, and either four or six to make up the total to 16 or 18. So five and nine are up here. Well, five is not here because of the five, seven pair. Nine could be in any of the cells. That means if there's a nine there and a nine there, there's a nine in one of these, it can only be on the tip of the arrow. I don't know so much about what five being in one of those means. Um, right, what else have we got going on? We've got a 28 and a 29 between those. And the five, seven pair, so that can't be a seven. That could be a seven, and then this is two, three. Well, this can't be a three, actually, on the end of the arrow. Two, three, and then four or six. This can't be a seven on the beginning of the arrow. Hmm, that's interesting. So the arrow begins with two or three. And it, the trouble is, it depends on what's here, and that could be anything from two, three, four, six, or seven, I think. Yeah, sorry, I've been focusing a bit too hard on that. What else can we find to do? This is either four, six, Ah, the five, nine, two, seven, three, one. This is four, six, or eight. Ooh, if that had been four or six, we'd know this was a two and eight. But if this is four and six, we get an eight here. That pushes eight onto this arrow and pill, which makes it there. Well, that's quite interesting. So if that's four, six, we get an eight there. This must be 18. With two, three, four, two, three, six, seven there, five, nine, four there. So if that's an eight, we get a six here. What does that do? If that's a four, six pair. Ah, we get an eight here and a nine here. Eight here. This is three, four, five, six. Oh, it gets very constrained. I mean, it might work. I'm not sure. Okay, I need to need to try and move on. And think about something else. This is sixteen or eighteen. Well, maybe it's this collocation of possible eights here. Only one of those can be an eight. So if this is twenty-eight with a seven here, then this is sixteen, then that's a five-eight pair and that becomes a nine. Hmm, I don't know. Actually, yes, okay. It means that nine ends up in one of those two cells, but I don't think that's helpful on this route particularly. Let's just try and think a bit more. Now, what were the possibilities here? 21, 3, 4, or 5. Oh, now here's a thought. If that's an 8 and a 9 in those two, and they have to be different by the rule, then none of these can be 8 or 9. Um, those can't be 8 or 9 either. Ah, oh, but this one can. No, I don't think that's the way to go about it. What if that was 2, 8? Then that would be 6, but that... Then you get 5, 9, 8 here. Then you'd have a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 quad here. A uh, quintuple there. But... That could work as well. I don't see why that doesn't work. I mean, we're close to that already with these four cells. Well, I mean, I suppose there's a five, seven pair. But if you put six, eight or nine here, you've got a triple. 
No, this is tricky, actually. I can't see my way through this immediately. Um, okay, what are the possibilities up here? They require... Oh, look, they need a five in these cells, don't they? This is either three, four, five, six, or three, four, five, seven. So there's a five in one of those cells. So this isn't a five. There we go. So that's a seven. That makes this an eight. That makes this one a nine by the rule, and this one a five. Actually, that was by Sudoku. This has become a six. Right, we're away now. So this is a two, three, four, seven triple. That and that can't be two. This one can't. This one can't be three. This one can't be seven, actually. So that's become three or four. Anyway, two, three, four, seven, one, six. This is a five, eight, nine. That's a nine. Surrounded by a five, eight pair. That's not an eight. Aha! Now that's interesting. Now that this is four or six, this is reduced to a two and an eight. This can't be a two, which is very useful. We know the two must go on the bulb below. There it is. Um, these are from, that's four, five, or seven. This is four, five, or six. That's five, six, or seven. Just trying to respect the thermo. Always respect your thermos. Um, still hasn't quite resolved everything. Oh, look at that. Four, five, six, seven quad down the final column. Oh, that's fantastic. That's a really lovely step. Well done, Seri. Okay, so we get three there. This now can't be four, five, or three. That's brilliant. So this one is 21. Still don't know whether that's 18 or 19, but never mind about that. Um... 21 here, 21 there, plus 2 and 1 is 24. These three add up to 21. Now that could be 6, 7, 8. Oh no, it can't be. Look where 9 is. 9's ruled out of all those. So there's a 9 in it. Can't be 6, 7, 8. It's 21. It's either 9, 8, 4 or 9, 7, 5. I don't know which. Um... 984 would put a 5 here. 975. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, interesting. This can't be a 7 anymore. This 4567 quad that was so helpful. Yes, that can do more work. It puts a 2 at the top of column 9. It makes this an 8 9 pair. Uh, oh, 8 wasn't a possibility up here, was it? Yes, it was. It can't be 984. It must be 975 to make the 21. Right, that's great. So this isn't a three, actually, it couldn't have been before. We've got three, four, six. We can place the three and another four, six pair. This is either five or seven, so we can place eight in the column. That makes this a nine, and now we know this is a three, four, five, seven arrow. No six on it, so the six goes up here. This can't be a six. That can't be an eight. Um, there's a, okay, I don't know quite what that means. Still got the intact four, five, six, seven, triple. Six must be in one of those two cells and can't be in this one, therefore. Because of the column, six must be in one of those two. And then using that in the box, it takes it out of there. Now I've got a five, seven pair. So that becomes a four and sorts out box three. Seven. So seven goes there. So the Thermo has been fully respected now. <coughs> Eight is in one of those two cells. I feel a coughing fit coming on. I may have to break. I will check something else out while I break. Hang on one second. Yes, there we go. Sorry about that. And as I suspected, I had read something interesting. Now, um, seven in this row. Yes, that is right there. So this is a three four. That and that aren't a four now. This isn't a three. So we've got a one four pair in the top row. I suspect I'm not doing this a very clean way, but never mind. Three five pair there. Now that seven nine pair removes seven as a possibility out of those. Um, Should be just finishing off here. One of these is a three. One, four, 
six, eight. That is six or eight. Oh, oh, that can't be three. So the three in this row is now there. Three, two, nine, seven. One, five, six, and eight. That hasn't... Oh, there's a four, six pair here. Right, so eight and then nine, respecting the thermo, we get a seven there. This is one or six. Now we've got one, five, and seven to put in down here. Not sure. One or five there, but at least that placed eight for me. Uh, in the middle box. These are from 1, 5 and 7. That Oh no, look, this one sees 1 and 5. It's a naked single. Okay. 1, 2, 7, 8, 5, 9 in this row is there. That is 3 or 6. 7, 3, 2. Now, have I I've used all the arrows, I think, and I've used all the thermos too, so Really, the rest is Sudoku. Oh, um, that's tricky because I think I'm missing something. Oh, hang on, what's this? Two, nine, three, eight, five, one, four. That's six or seven. No, it is seven because that's where seven goes in this row. Okay, I was missing something. Is it enough to get me home? Four, six there. Seven, two, nine, three, five. Pencil marking everything desperately now. Ah, oh, this is one or six. Right, that's placed nine, which I should have been able to place just by Sudoku. And once I've marked this, I've pencil marked everything. Now, is this not? There's definitely a six in one of those two cells in the box, so I can take six out of those two. Um, Oh, come on. What is going on here? It's probably some hideous Y-wing left or... Well, I could easily be missing something or else there's some sort of Y-wing or simple colouring trick going on. But my goodness. Yeah, go on. Shout if you spot it and I'll see. I'll see if I can hear you. How do we unwind this? It can't be any of the arrow or thermo rules. Something is going to resolve this that I cannot see. Don't want to bifurcate. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, here we go. Look at this cell. It's a Y wing. It really is. I mean, there may be other ways to get through this, but this is what I've seen now. Now, imagine that's a one this cell becomes a six. Alternatively, imagine that this in row one, column five is a four, this cell becomes a six, because they're the only other alternatives for those two cells. Now, I don't know which one of them is a six, but if either of them is a six, this cell cannot be a six, which is the definition of a Y-wing. So this becomes a four, and that probably is gonna give us everything, I would have thought. Yeah, it's unwinding all of these chocolate tea pop triples and doubles. So named because they're as useless as that item. This becomes a six on the bulb. One, four in that sort of pivot cell that we found. Um, that becomes a three and that's going to clean up all the remaining pairs at the top. Three, uh, sorry, I'm trying to enter a five there. Eight and five. That's an eight. That's a four, that's a one, that's a six, that's a four, that's a one, that's a six. And this finishes it with a four. And that is a lovely puzzle. And I mean, it's not easy. It's got a very tricky finish. It's really good, but it's in no way a big um, attritional puzzle. That That's very clever. Now, I did check while I had, while I had my water break, I did check... Um, that I had read something earlier, and that was that the tester had said this was very hard, had been solving it without knowing the rule that all the pills had to have unique numbers in. And apparently there is only one solution, they believe, um, but it's a lot harder to get at without knowing that rule. So 
good luck to you if you tried it that way for any reason. I mean, it is written in the rules, so you shouldn't have had to. But uh, that's an interesting fact about the puzzle, that um, it has a much harder form with one less rule. And that does sometimes happen in Sudoku. It's a fascinating fact. But as it is, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Sehi. Good luck to you. Stay safe. And uh, hope to see you all soon again on the channel for more Sudoku tomorrow. Bye for now.